Hey YouTube, this is your girl Simply Love and I'm here to do your monthly love reading. I hope you enjoyed your snippets, okay? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign um, for the sign of Aquarius. Um, please come join me on Instant Go. They made a lot of changes there. Um, we're free to do. We have a free platform on there now. They made a whole lot of changes. It's not available on Android yet. Um, but you always can borrow somebody's iPhone or iPad if you want to come on over there and, um, you know, negotiate prices. Um, we can make payments any way. It doesn't matter. Um, Cash App, PayPal, whatever way you want to make your payment, Gmail or GPay. Um, and I also want to thank you all who purchased my uh, cards. They've been selling like hotcakes. I hope you all enjoy them. Thank you for your feedback with them. Uh, but it's not about me. It is um, about spirit and um, where the messages are coming from to give to you guys to share because they know what you're going through. And we all need a little uplifting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the uh, reading. I tried you guys reading yesterday. Um, <laughs> twice it got cut off. Um, so let's hopefully it's going to be okay now. Um, so this first spread I already got out. I'm going to do two spreads, uh, past, present, and future. Um, the second spread is just going to be random for extra messages for other people that's going to be out there. So this spread is already out here. Um, it's been out here since yesterday night because like I said, I, tr I tried twice to film it and something kept cutting it off or I hit something on my computer, I did something and it kept shutting off. So I got, I got frustrated and I didn't want to do the reading while I was frustrated. So I just left the cards sitting out here the way they was yesterday when I shuffled and started the reading, but I'm going to shuffle the rest of them. So let's get with it. In your recent past Aquarius, um, I see you got the Queen of Pentacles. This is where you were single. Um, living the high life, you know, the, the Queen or King of Pentacles is somebody who lives the high life. You see, they had that pentacle in their hand. It's like you got all the material things you want. You got everything you need all around you. Um, there is a sense of, of loneliness, though, or missing. You see how they're looking? I'm putting my own intuition into these cards. Like, I know what they mean and all that. You guys probably know, too. You watch them so much. But when I, uh, I get my intuitive part that goes into it, too. So please bear with me. Yeah, I'm feeling like they got all the money, all the uh, material possessions, um, very um, kind of just all around have their stuff together, Aquarius, and you have your stuff together here. Um, you could have um, Earth in your natal chart, Aquarius, Virgo, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or could be dealing with one, or it could be, you know, your cross watcher as well so these energies can go anywhere you just put it where it fits because these are just general energies they're going out worldwide so we're talking to a whole bunch of people here and it doesn't necessarily have to be your your uh reading okay so you got the sun card next which was talking about some rebirth so during this time that you aquarius uh were alone or by yourself or even your um partner or somebody in your recent past you were healing yourself okay you were starting to come back you were starting to be happy again you, you st there's a lot of things that you had to get rid of or let loose out of your life far as it when it comes to your internal self so there was a lot of baggage that's uh that was being released as you spent this time alone also you know you were busy making money some of you you know were in charge of some you know at a job or something like that or you just were owning your own being creative doing your own thing making money really very comfortable but i do just sense here in your recent past there was a sense of loneliness or missing something or it could be vice versa, somebody doing this with you. Uh, there is a Ten of Swords uh, energy here. So that talks about some type of ending. This rebirth that you gain and, you know, some happiness, even though you were by yourself, you still was making it, still was pushing on, still moving on, still having the strength, still feeling the sun because you were going through some type of rebirth again. Uh, or reawakening where your slate is clean your karma is clean Aquarius um, and see you got the ten of swords here this is your energy or it could be somebody in your natal that has air in their natal chart Aquarius Gemini Libra where there was some backstabbing going on that's why this rebirth took place that's why you had to have to spend some time to yourself because there was some backstabbing and I mean um, this probably started when you while you were young 
you had a lot of backstabbers, a lot of haters, um, a lot of people try to, you know, put you down and, and keep you down because of your good heart and your kindness. There, I see jealousy in this card as well. With the Ten of Swords, there's some type of jealousy. And when it has something to do with a relationship, somebody, you know, really deceived you in the past and it hurt, it kind of put you down on your feet for a minute, but you, you know, Tens talks about starting all over again. So, you know, you decided to move on, okay, in your recent past. You decided to just take the lessons learned, take all the swords out your back, you know, um, rejuvenate yourself here when it comes to love and just decided to part ways. And you took those lessons that you learned with you, okay? It's like, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to, I forgive, but I'm not going to forget as I move on. And then you became the, um, excuse me, the magician in your recent past. You started creating things again, just like the rebirth card in the sun. That's major arcana there. You begin to be creative. Um, like I said, some of you probably started your own online businesses or your own business doing something on the side. Some of you probably have two jobs. See, um, you started creating things. This is somebody like looking up to, the, to their angel guides, their ancestors, counting on spirit, relying on spirit. And once you rely on spirit, they give you the tools here. Here's all your tools. You got all the tools necessary to create what you wanted. And that's exactly what you've been doing in your recent past. And it's for, made you very <laughs> comfortable when it comes to your living situation, Aquarius. But it is a sense of loneliness too. So you became the magician, which is a major arcana card. You start thinking up stuff, conjuring up stuff like what you want to do, and then you put it into action. You actually you conjured you made conjured it up and you um had it, you know, this is like this is what we all need to be. Everybody need to be the magician. Conjure up what you want. Think in your head, think it through in your head what you want, because if everything thought starts with a thought, but be careful of your thoughts too. If it's gonna be something negative or something against somebody or something like that, you have to be very careful. Don't don't do that. Do something to benefit other people. Help other people because that's how you be blessed. That's where your blessings come from. That's where you always be this king or queen of pentacles. You'll, you'll, you'll always be blessed with money and you'll always be comfortable, happy and not have any, t you know, too many worries. OK, you become the magician that even talks about everything in your life when it comes to love, work, anything. That's what the magician brings along. It's like somebody sees something or imagine something by conjuring it up. They see it and then they put it into action. That's what the magician does. And voila, you've come up with something. You know, something that you make, you can sell or something like that for yourself. It's your own. The magician is their own creator. They create what they want in everything. Love, friends, family, it, you, no matter what it is. And there's the king of cups. So uh, now you got somebody who come in, Aquarius, offering love. Okay. It's a knight of cups. Knight of Cups is somebody who's coming honestly with, with an open heart. Uh, the Knight of Cups is somebody who um, comes in to express their self and give you some, they got, um, um, they express their true feelings to you. So somebody, so this is the now, somebody coming in or came in, expressed the way they felt for you because the Knight wears their heart on their sleeve. Not like the king. The king kind of like is reserved and doesn't show their emotions, even though they're an emotional person, but they kind of don't. But this this person's doing it for a reason. I mean, is they like they it's like they coming in with offerings, with true offerings, showing you their feelings, telling you how they feel about you. And I feel like the love is being reciprocated with the queen or king. So see, there's a knight of cups and a king, a queen of cups. And the reason why I'm saying the knight of cups, the knight of cups, like I said, is someone who's being honest and open and upfront about how they feel. And somebody's coming in here to express that to you. And whatever it is, uh, Aquarius, you know, you got big love for them. You know that. Look at you gazing at that cup. Maybe, you know, there's some thought about it. Like, you know, um, let me see here. I got my love here in this cup. I know I love this person. I know I do, but 
I don't know if I can trust them or not. I don't know if I could give them my whole cup. You see how she's just gazing at that cup? Like, because she's being offered, and this is true, a true offer. It really is, whoever this person is. But you're looking at it like, um, hmm. let's see. You're emotional about it because it's a cup card. You do love. You have love. You're very dreamy. I feel like for some of you, this is somebody you were wishing for. Because here it is, the star card. This is your card, a card of Aquarius. And it's Major Arcana. So this person you've been wishing and dreaming for. You've been hoping for and you've been waiting for them. Whoever it is, he or she. You have. And now that it come along, why are you like, hmm... Because you know you love, you know you love them. You know you love her. You know it. So where's this Eight of Cups coming from? This is the now. Okay? I feel like with the, what I'm picking up here is that as far as your emotions, maybe either you're not feeling emotionally satisfied and you, you, you're going through some emotional changes about this person within yourself or... Could be vice versa. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or they could be going through, uh, still going through emotional shit where they had to, where they walked away from an emotional situation. What I'm hearing from Spirit is that you were hoping that this person walked away from something that just wasn't making them happy. So then came in communication, okay? There's communication going on right now, okay? Because we're talking about the now. So some of the things you thought about or somebody else thought about could be going on now, you know, like thinking about stuff that happened in the past or, whole, you know, thinking about some disappointment, some emotional disappointment, uh, some walking away, some turning their back on a situation. They could still be pondering on it or you could be pondering on something you've been that you know you love and care for, whoever this person is or vice versa. They are that way with you because this wouldn't be here if it didn't is what you wish for. So you got it. But you're kind of indecisive because you're, you're kind of wondering like, is this going to happen to me again? This deception. You know, are they going to backstab me again? Because they really made me lone, feel alone. Or the message is vice versa. But there's, you know, they, they stand in touch. There's, they definitely coming in with some fast communication. And the Eight of Wands is fast communication. Also could talk about travel as well. Where you could be seeing somebody and going back and forth. Where they're going back and forth. And most of the time, it just means messages, text messages um, coming in all the time. There's, you know, this is about great communication. So this is going on now. So why are you feeling with the Eight of Cups? I don't know, but it's there. And it just it's an emotion. Sometimes you feel like you want to stay and sometimes you feel like you want to go because you feel like you don't know if you want to invest in this. But the person is communicating or it could be where somebody's being wishy-washy and you felt this type of emotion before from them and it and it it makes you want to like say fuck it you know what i'm saying that's what i'm picking up and that's what i'm hearing it makes you want to say fuck it you're going back and forth in your head like because you don't know Maybe some, maybe this person still, you know, maybe you have to be a little bit more sensitive and understanding or something. Maybe because this person's still going through some stuff or maybe they the ones been through the rebirth or maybe both of you have been through a rebirth, a total, you know, change. Maybe they're going through some emotional stuff still, but it may not have nothing to do with you because this communication card is still here where they just contacting you, texting you. Um, letting you know they really real about coming through with the offer of uh, of love with the Knight of Cups. So here, now in, in your future, you got the Ten of Pentacles where um, somebody wants the relationship to go deeper. Okay, so some of you may be talking about getting married or engaged 
or the relationship is going to go to a deeper level and make a deeper commitment. It may be two people that's going to, um, one's going to live with the other, move together, something like that. That's what the Ten of Cups bring about, you know, new beginnings. There was an ending here for somebody here. They had to leave somebody else alone or somebody needed to leave this person alone. Could have been Aquarius, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Somebody had to, and I'm picking up for some of you, there's somebody uh, in the background or something like that um, that's feeling left out of cold, in the cold because somebody moved on into a new relationship. This is a new relationship. This is like a, um, a partnership, a new relationship, a new commitment. See that third, see that person right there? That's, see that? They're all covered up and everything. Somebody got somebody got left out. You know what I mean? And they probably still sitting there waiting to see what happens to this relationship. So Aquarius, for some of you, watch out for someone who may be spying or you know looking out into this into your relationship. It could be somebody who's jealous. It could be an ex of, of yours or an ex of theirs that stills wanting in or they could still be there they could still you know like be going back and forth with this person but it looks like they want to be committed to you this virgo taurus or capricorn or you can have this in your energy and it could be you go vice versa now i'm just getting intuitive with this stuff now because i'm seeing a, a big picture and this it just goes these messages are just for some But whoever this person is, I feel like um, whoever you're dealing with or vice versa on the message that they don't want this person to come back in. But they may be trying. And with the Page of Pentacles, there's communication there from a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They want to offer. They want to offer this commitment. It's a deeper commitment because this could be like a ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, or a gift. Like, this is a gift to you from me because I want you to know that, you know, for some of you that, you know, I'm done with a past relationship or a past person. I'm done with that. I want you not them because this could be you thinking that this person wants somebody that they used to be with okay because it could go like it can go the other way too so i'm picking up all these messages as i'm going along please bear with me i went to that full moon and um i got so much energy and so much information from my ancestors okay so they may offer you they may offer you a a, a ring of commitment that lets you know that you're the one that they want Aquarius. So you're going to have to you know make up your mind clearly now. You're going to have to make up your mind. I, I know you want this person. I can see that you've been waiting around and everything for this person. I mean you know you can be ego tripping all you want to or you know acting like this ain't what you want or skeptical all up in your head you need to you know you need to uh ground yourself ground yourself ground yourself be before you walk away from something that really really wants you here that there's a great possibility of uh of, of new love a, a, a deeper commitment and also maybe engagement possible marriage for some of you possibly possibly living together really going the long haul because the 10 is beginnings of a new something going to a, a, a definite commitment here and with the lovers like i said for some of you you have to make choices or the other person need to make a choice or it just means you know this is some kind type of um uh, love relationship with the surrounding cards for a lot of you i have to say this is a solid commitment it's like a twin flame or soulmate relationship it's like it's being blessed. You see that cross in between the two of you? It's like it's it's being blessed from the heavens and the angel guide. You're you're this is something you manifest for a lot of you. I'm feeling that energy of a soulmate connection. And the three of pentacles is like they're willing to work with you. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and it could be a, a Gemini. So this is a blessed union for sure. And they do want to work on this relationship because that's what this three of pentacles is about. 
working together as a team is teamwork. And it could be with the king of swords. He's a king. Whoever this person is, is a king or a queen. Okay, remember the gender, because both people looking. Um, you know, somebody who is very smart, very intelligent. This could be even your energy, because it is a sword card. Or the person you're dealing with has air in their natal chart, or they're Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. That you could be dealing with somebody just like you. And they're very smart and intelligent, very creative, very dependable. This person has good intentions. They know what they're doing. They could be like somebody who is like, uh, um, they know how to manifest things and they can have some type of psychic ability. Okay, Aquarius, let's look at my deck here, which you can go on my website and look at all the decks that I have available. I have some inspiration cards, which I will be reading. Uh, thank you all again who purchased. Um, and, and again, I want you to... Um, Please allow t at least 10 days. It may be sooner than that, but at least 10 days because they have to be printed out from the printing company. Then they send them to me and then I send them out to you. But, you know, just allow about 10 days. OK, it may not be that long, but just give it that amount of time for all those who ordered. And I think I told you I'm not really sure. I think I did. I had so many orders there coming in and filling. But just to make sure, just allow at least 10 days. Or less okay so let me clear my table yeah yeah Aquarius um somebody loves you here you love them too okay you really do you're all in your head about it I know you've been hurt or whatever by this person or for some of you um, you felt betrayed backstabbed hoodwinked <laughs> played on the whole nine yards that's how you felt about this person but look they're coming back for real or somebody if it's not for some of you is somebody coming back for real with a wanting to be honest with you for some of you is somebody new coming in and um you really want to like this person Aquarius there, for some of you there's there's somebody new coming in with an offer and they are sincere they got their high hopes up on you, Aquarius, from what I see. And uh, you like them. Whoever they are, you like them. Or you, if for y'all, if it didn't come yet, when they come, you're going to like them. Because they straight up, they the real deal. They ain't no punk, okay? They a real man or a real woman. Okay, Spirit, what else do you have here? So, you know, get out of your head. For some of you, I feel like there's a relationship or something that came uh, with that eight of cups there walking away. I feel like for some of you, if you are in a relationship with somebody, for some of you that are married or something like that, I feel like you're walking away because you are you don't feel emotionally attached to this person you, you're, or you don't feel that this person is emotionally attached to you. You might feel like you're the only one that's like loving this person. That's what I'm hearing too. So you just may walk away and enter into a new brand new relationship that's going to be more suitable for you and you're going to feel more comfortable and at ease with this person instead of feeling like you don't know whether you in or whether you out with some particular person for some of you. Because they could be, there There could be some of you are hearing the word. I don't know why you're bipolar. You'd be dealing with somebody that got um, bipolar syndrome or, or there, or somebody's like, just keep thinking about the past. They may be overthinking and it causes them to, um, uh, be guarded they start guarding themselves so you'll be able to read the signs you know what I'm talking about Aquarius you'll be able to read this forever who's out, out there that message is for so a lot of you are dealing with the Emperor like I said you did some of you are getting somebody who is very straight up they mean what they say and say what they mean okay um, when it comes to a commitment or a relationship and also this person some of you be careful because you could be dealing with somebody who is married when it comes to emperor usually is a married man or already as in an established relationship a committed relationship the emperor is very committed when it comes to marriages and relationships unless they're in reverse but he's coming up in the upright you could be dealing with the aries for some of you guys 
but you're dealing with somebody who's straight up. It could be the empress too, you know, if you're a, a man watching and it's an empress. It's somebody who's very fruitful. They got their life together. They they believe in order and structure. They have a lot of order and structure in their life. They they are the the, the boss of their domain, okay? <laughs> boss man. That's what they are, Aquarius. Um, you got the four swords here. This is your energy. It's like you're chilling with this person. Okay, you have this person is bringing you peace. You know what I mean? They help bringing you peace, so you can relax around this person with the four swords. You know, you can relax. You, you can you might you both might be very spiritual where you meditate. But this is all about having peace. Here we go again with the star card, Aquarius. This is what you've been waiting for and hoping for. And voila, there they go. Somebody from your past. You used to deal with them before. They came back. All right? And this is a soulmate connection. So get over yourself, Aquarius. <laughs> get over yourself. He's back. Or she's back. Yeah, you see how dreamy the star is? You see that? She's been waiting. She's been praying. He or she, it doesn't matter, but this is an Aquarius. This is your card. And it's a major arcana. You can't you can't mess with major arcana cards. That's spirit talking. You're dealing with somebody who's straight up. They, they want you. They're solid. They sitting on solid ground right now. They don't put their player card down, okay? They had a, they got a, they they went through some type of experience with the player stuff, okay? And they made a mistake and they want to come back and say that they're sorry. And you know, Aquarius, look, let me tell you something. You know you want this person. You know you want it. You know you want them. <laughs> or the energies could go vice versa. It could be the other person as well. See there. See, brand new beginning with the Ace of uh, the Ace of Wands. Brand new star is passionate. It's sexual. Somebody's looking at you like you're so sexy or you're looking at them like they sexy or you're looking at each other like that. Like there's a spark, a big ass spark. OK, um, and this is really going somewhere with that Ace of Wands. Somebody really wants a new beginning here. They're coming forth. They're coming forth for some of you. They made up their mind with that three of wands and they're moving forward with this new with this relationship or you're moving forward with this like, OK, all right, Mr. Emperor or Mrs. Em Empress. Y'all two chilling together with the four swords. Y'all chilling. Y'all at peace with each other because it's what maybe you both felt this way. Like I'm waiting for you. He waiting for you. She's waiting for you. Um, Because of this six of cups, somebody from the pet, you already used to deal with this person. And the Six of Cups also talks about a soulmate connection. It's like y'all tied, solely tied. It was meant to be. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius. Hit the comment section, okay? <laughs> so what am I doing next? Okay. Okay, give you a love card. Okay. Spirit, what else do you see for the sign of Aquarius? When it comes to love, what else do you see for the sign of Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love yourself first, too. That's what brings love. That's the attraction. That's probably what attracted this person to you. Um, they see that you had a sense of loving yourself or some type of change uh, or vice versa. You might have seen this in this other person. Look all them angels up there around y'all. That's what brought y'all together. Um, what brought y'all together is uh, self-love, uh, meditation, transformation. Look at that chemistry card. Y'all got chemistry together heavily. 
all right heavily i feel like somebody needs to let go of control issues though i feel like there's somebody that like because that emperor or empress they could be very controlling because um because they're because they are into order so much to where it flows over until to their relationships but it's a controlling in a good way i'm feeling really uh happy inside about the type of control it is because it helps you to balance whatever it is it helps to keep you balanced aquarius because you know you can be all over the place so but but don't let it get so to where it's taking over your whole being which i don't feel like that's going to happen i just feel like they're controlling or you could be controlling in a good way just for order and stability and some structure you need to learn to trust you or this other person or both of you because you got all the, the chemicals here the chemicals in y'all is heated up and working together or whatever the hotness is there the attraction is there but you know trust it please trust it aquarius this situation is calling for you to have some faith you had the star card the star card talks about faith and trust and you know wishes and dreams coming true so have faith in it because that's what you wanted anyway it was on your reading twice okay so have faith and trust this person or this person needs to have trust for you or each other i mean if they didn't have trust they wouldn't be coming back from the past because you got the six of cups if they didn't trust you so maybe you're the one with the trust issues learn to trust because look at that angel it's like you still got a bunch of angels all in these pictures look your spirit guides and stuff are guiding you to this relationship for some of you now this is not for everybody look it's safe for you to love i feel like i have to do this with aquarius because i had a lot of aquarius's readings this year this this year a lot of Aquariuses, and we are in the age of Aquarius now. And I feel like I have to really, you know, really let y'all know, you know, you can let go of the past. Don't hang on to the past because it could, it could spoil something here that's, you know, being guided by angels, your, your spirit guides. It's something you and this person conjured up. And it is your soulmate for some of you. If some of you still are like, not you know really want to have because this outcome is not for everybody okay so you would need to have a personal private reading to really find out uh what's going on in your own individual situation but those who resonated with this go ahead and hit the comment section i liked it i love your guys comments and feedback remember to like share and subscribe please <clears throat> Oh, this is just my uh, introduction card like i said these are on my website if you like to purchase them if you're going through any type of transformation these cards will help you out with that as you're going through you just shuffle them like i'm shuffling now at your own home uh daily weekly however you want to do it and, and let it pull a message out and take that message and let it um um as you speak it out as it shall be as it shall be okay <laughs> again yep this is for you um and it's i gotta do something with that camera because it's not coming up the way it's supposed to i'm gonna use my other camera though next time so it's cleanse and meditate aquarius so like i said a lot of you have been cleansed and meditated because you did have that four swords um and um uh, i feel like two people have because there's two birds here and i feel like that's what helped bring you back together it's like you conjured up your your soulmate you conjured each other up through meditation, through cleansing, going through a transformation. A lot of you went through that transformation and um, really, and you know, every day is a cleansing. Every day is a transformation, but this, I feel like you guys been through a, a big, with that sun card there, you've been through a big rebirth. It was like, a, like, I feel like two people have been through a really big wake up call and and really and it's made you happy inside and warm and fuzzy <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> uh, i'm going to try to get you guys done all the rest of them today i've been doing this in between my readings i've been getting calls and stuff like that with um 
and placing orders for these cards. Now, these are my cards as well. I message, okay? I haven't put these up on my website yet, but they've been selling like hotcakes since I've been reading from them. And what you can do, the same as you can do with the other cards here, is take them and shuffle them every day and pull and get yourself a message to remind yourself of who you are and where you're going, okay? With spirit, okay? Because spirit helped me with these. That's where they come from. It's not about me. It's about spirit. <clears throat> and, um... This will help you <clears throat> during your med meditation and your cleanse, okay, for a lot of you. So what you got is here. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you uh, fill, fill, when you fill it with, um, I'm sorry, when you fill it with poison, poison thoughts, your life will, will about to change. I'm sorry, not poison, positive. I use some kind of print here and it's, sometimes it's hard to read and I didn't realize that though. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will, will, uh, will, about, will be about to change. Is about to change anyway. So what they're saying is, you know, as you cleanse, you know, and um, meditate and things like that, what you're saying, like I said, with these cards, if you purchase these cards and you're going through transformation, just shuffle them and, you know, remind it reminds you of who you are, and where you are, and what you need to do. That's what spirit is going to be communicating with you through the simply love can't be with you all the time or neither can the other readers. That's why I'm, that's why they motivated me to come up with, you know, doing these like uh, positive messages and things like that. And um, to help people along through especially when I do personal private readings, you know, um, it helps you to stay strong, okay? It helps you to stay motivated and stay on the right track and enter in these positive affirmations or positive things because what comes out of your mouth and it goes into the universe, that's exactly what they're going to give you. So as you shuffle these on a daily basis and you say these words to the universe, that you know, you're going to be cleansed, meditating. You're going to be cleansed and these things are going to be happening to you. You're going to stay pot. So you have to stay positive in your mind. You have to have, keep positive thoughts. I know it's hard. I know because, you know, I go through it. I know been through it, going through it, but not as bad as I used to. Okay. It's like, I can catch it now. It's like when you, when you make that transformation I'm not saying everything's going to be peachy key because it's not. What what happens is you start noticing things about yourself that you didn't know that you weren't aware of before and you kind of like kind of catch yourself and like bring it to the forefront. You know, you know it's kind of like tweaking yourself. You know, on a daily basis you kind of learn to tweak, tweak. I got to tweak myself here. You know, I see this is like a, a, a ongoing thing that I used to do. And you kind of like lighten up as, you know, as you meditate and cleanse, as you speak positive things, as you think positive, Aquarius. So that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed. If you like a personal private reading, just look below. All my information is there. Take care and bye.